Hi, my name is Roy P. Tharian and you're watching Motown India channel. This is a crossover, the S-Cross from the Maruti stable, the Maruti Suzuki stable to be precise. Crossovers are the flavor of the season, but this one is a different crossover. This is a little bigger in size from the existing ones. The S-Cross is already being sold in Europe and other countries. This is the first time it's coming to India and it's made for India. On the looks front, it's kind of decent bloke. It's got some very ordinary looks. Plain Jane, but a little better. The rear is awesome. We've been driving from Mumbai to Nasik. We stopped on the way. And I must tell you, this 1.6 liter diesel engine performs extremely well. The S-Cross is available in two different diesel variants. The 1.3 liter DDI S200, which is found on other Maruti Suzuki cars like the Swift and the Desire, and is also available with a new 1.6 liter DDI S 320, which makes 118 bhp at 3750 rpm and 320 newton meter of torque at 1750 rpm. The engine is quite impressive and feels refined. The turbo kicks in at around 1800 rpm. The 1.6 liter diesel mill is very punchy and the surge of power will ensure you don't go wanting for more. While driving in city traffic, you may need to downshift if you fall below the 1700 rpm mark. But on highways, the S-Cross has long legs and gives you the feeling that it wants to go faster. The S-Cross has a bold stance with smooth flowing lines from front to back. It comes with automatic LED projector headlamps chrome garnishing and black cladding around the skirting and the low edges. Even though the car has a kind of plain chain look, its headlamps are smart but the bonnet and grille could have been a tad bit more stylish. The side and rear profiles are impressive. The S-Cross is based on a new sedan platform but has been designed to make it look like an SUV. The S-Cross is packed with a host of handy features. You have steering mounted controls, a touch screen info entertainment system with Bluetooth connectivity and satellite navigation. It is also voice enabled. The car has lots of cubby holes and cup holders, leather seats, automatic climate control, rain sensing wipers, cruise control and keyless entry with a start stop ignition button. You do get the feeling that it lacks a rear AC vent. With 353 liters of boot space, you have ample of room for your luggage. On the safety front, the car comes with ABS, anti-theft security system, dual airbags, reverse parking, camera and sensors and disc brakes all around. This car is expected to do extremely well, will compete with most of the compact SUVs. That includes the Ford EcoSport, the Renault Duster and the soon to be launched Hyundai Creta. There's going to be a massive competition between Hyundai and Maruti and I have a feeling this fellow has an edge because of the brand aspiration. I've driven this vehicle for the last 60 kilometers and I must cross my heart and tell you I think there's a winner in this car. For the latest news and reviews, subscribe to our YouTube channel and like us on Facebook.